everybody, welcome back to Learning to Be Prepared. My name is Jeremy, and today I have another product review from you. Today we're going to look at the updated Trident 20, and they call this the Trident 20 Gen 2. <laughs> that can be a mouthful for me sometimes. Okay, the VanQuest Trident Gen 2. If you look right here, I actually have my old Trident 20 that I've been using um, actually for about a year or more. This was one of the first VanQuest bags I actually bought. I bought this and the Javelin the same day and um, I've been using their products ever since. So in this video I'm going to do my best to compare between the two bags as I'm able to and show you some of the differences and changes. Um, I've made a list to try to help me remember some of these items because over the last couple of days I've sat down and I've gone over this bag as much as I could and I found nearly 20 upgrades made to the Gen 2 over the Gen 1. And I think you're going to really like these upgrades as much as I have. At least I sure hope you do. And um, I'm going to have to stand up a little bit and maybe sit down just a little bit in order to show you between the two bags. So bear with me on that. And over here in the corner, as you can see, I have some props that I'm also going to use to help um, show you the different characteristics of these bags as well. So without any further ado, let's jump right into these bags. So the first thing that I want to show you on the Gen 2 is that there are three upgrades that I personally think um, probably stand out the most. The first is going to be that um, the bag is half an inch wider. So from here to here, it's going to be a half an inch wider than this one right here. And the purpose of that is so that it can better accommodate a 15 inch MacBook Pro with a slim case on it. So what it was was that a lot of these updates made to this bag were based on customer recommendations. And they were stating that when they would put their 15 inch MacBook Pro into the original Trident 20, it would zip close still, but it was just a pretty tight zip um, as you go across the top of the laptop. So in this new uh, Gen 2, they've increased that by half an inch to help get better clearance on that. Okay, so because this is a half an inch wider, that translates also into this bag being one liter larger than the previous version. Now, another item I want to mention right off the bat is that a lot of people love to have a water bottle. Now, this is not technically a huge water bottle holder, but what they've done is on, on the outside of the admin pocket, they've added the slip pocket. This slip pocket is great for just putting items inside of it, putting items like flashlights and pocket knives that have clips on them right down in there. But this this also will hold your, your basic 16.9 ounce water bottle. So you would just stick it right down in there, just like that. Now, this is a brand new bag, and I think that over time, this little pocket might loosen up just a hair. On the other hand, once you drink just a little bit of your water, it, it gets a little bit of the air out, and the water bottle does slide in a little bit easier at that point as well. Now, one thing that I want to mention is keep in mind that if you're going to use this to hold um, a water bottle, um, two things. If you have a larger or a taller water bottle that's the same diameter as this, you can probably still end up holding a lot more water than the basic, you know, 16.0 ounce water bottle. However, no matter what bottle you choose to use in here, let me just encourage you not to overstuff this because the more you have inside there, it's going to make a difference as to what you can fit into this pocket. And especially if you're going to use it for a water bottle, you want to keep this pocket not so packed out. So one of the first things that I notice is you had that neoprene handle right here on top. On the old model, the, the seam on mine is on top of the handle. And on this one, they put it on the bottom. So I think this makes a, a nice upgrade, a smoother and cleaner look. I also noticed that 
On the Gen 1, it has a line of stitching right here. Now, it's always done well for me. It, this handle has not come loose or anything. But on the new one, they actually have box stitched this on both sides to give it even more strength and more durability. So you have the stitching here and the stitching here on the Gen 1. The Gen 2, you have all of this box, box stitching along with the second line of stitching that's over here as well. Okay, the next item is on both of these bags, they have this snap that comes undone. And this snap has always been so that as you slide to two zippers around, you have the option to keep one zipper on top so that when you open it, you only get into this portion. And also you can put a zipper on the bottom so that you can get into the bottom portion because these bags can be used like a sling pack. You can have one strap on your back and sling it around in front of you and use this as a side entry bag. So when you have this snap there, it really helps keep the bag from falling completely open if you open it while you're still wearing it. And this is also very helpful for when you're getting into the, the bag when it's in the front seat next to you. So when you would unsnap this, this would dangle down. And one of our customers recommended, hey, if you would take and put a sleeve so that you could tie this back and keep it from flinging around when you're not using it, because some people don't use this on a regular basis. So VanQuest answered that concern. Now when you open this up, you have this little elastic piece right here. And so now you can simply fold this over. Let me um, move this pack out of the way for you. Uh, you fold it over and tuck it right under. And that keeps that from flinging around as much as this. So moving to the front of the bag, you have the, the same um, type of pocket and organizer as what you did on the older model. It has the stretch cord um, on the outside and you can also slip items in this little area right there. I've seen people put like little first aid kits, little organizers. I've seen people use items that clip on there. I usually don't use that myself but one of the things I like is that where I live, it does occasionally rain. So if you have an umbrella, depending on what size it is, you might be able to slip it right inside here. Mine is a little bit larger umbrella, but what I can do is the, forgive me, the name of this elastic cord is slipping my mind at the moment. But what you can do, I'm gonna stand up and show you. You can take it and slip your umbrella through it just like that and slip it on this side as well. And so now you can, on those rainy days, you can just carry that umbrella right on the outside so that you don't have to sit there and carry it separately in your hand. So that's one way that I like to use that. As we move into this top pocket, I like to use this to keep an extra flashlight, my pocket knives, because I don't always keep these in my pocket because when I'm getting in and out of the car, I'm constantly taking my work keys, putting them in my pocket, then having to reach in and get them out. And I also keep um, an EDC flashlight, a larger one than this in my pocket. So it always just makes it hard for me to have a lot of things clipped onto my pockets. So sometimes I keep my pocket knife right inside here. In the back, I keep one of these little rich works, and in mine, I like to keep individually wrapped glass, whoop, there it is, individually glass, um, wrapped glass cleaners. One of the nice things about this uh, Gen 2 pack is that they've added Velcro to this inside slip pocket. That way, when you have items, like I keep a pen and uh, also a Sharpie in here, and so now, if I'm getting into the pack while it's on the car seat and it's sideways, then I don't have to worry about these items falling out. So that's a really nice upgrade to the Gen 2. So the rest of the inside of this is going to be just like the Gen 1, except it has the added Velcro right here. And by the way, guys, don't you just love how this bright orange um, contrasts, I guess, with the black inside the bag? I think that is so sharp. I love that. 
Right here, you also have a place for a morale patch. So if you want to add a little bit of brightness to the pack, you can put a little morale patch on it, like right there. This shock cord, and that's what I was looking for earlier, <laughs> this shock cord can be adjusted by this little button right here. You hold that down and you can pull it in and out. Okay, so moving down into this pocket, I like to keep items like mints and hand sanitizer. And then I normally keep this snapped as well. Okay, right here I have a nice grab handle. And here, one of the other big changes on this bag is that here they have like the um, PALS webbing or the um, Molly loops. I'm not sure what name most people go by with that. But I know that on the on the Gen 2, they've upgraded this panel to what they call a mole air panel. And this is going to be a thousand Cordura that's laminated, and then it has Velcro on the outside. And each one of these is individually stitched to help give it um, more strength. So if you want to put a, another patch, you have also another place to put your patches. Okay. So, moving along down the front, you also have another roll of the molly webbing here. And that is so, if you want to use molly sticks, they will actually reach all the way down. So if you want to put a full-size organizer on here and use these molly clips, you can weave them in and out of here just like you could on the old Gen 1. When you get into this pocket right here, this zipper comes down about one inch further than the Gen 1, so it gives you more room to bend it down like this. It helps get in and out of the bag a lot more. This bag is all, this pocket is also going to be a half an inch wider, so you have a little bit more room in here. I like to keep just hand sanitizer and extra flashlights in those pockets. Also, you have more room to put pins here and a wider pocket right here. It's going to be about three inches wide. And of course you have a key fob holder right here on the bottom as well. Moving on to this side of the pack, um, you have the D-ring just like the original one does. And most everything else is going to be exactly the same right here. When you switch around to the other side, um, just as a reminder, this is where the, the cup holder, or a bottle holder rather, and the slip pocket is going to be. And when you open it up, you have places in here for your your pens and sharpies and I like to put business cards and different items in here. Um, I used to use an organizer solely for that but I've gotten to where sometimes I like to put those items in here instead of having an extra organizer. The bottom of the pack is still going to be the same um, as the Gen 1. You're going to have two rows of your Molly webbing Looking on the back of these two packs now, we're going to see some, some big changes. Here, they now have these two Velcro um, ties, so to speak, to where your water bottle tube, when it comes out, you can use these right here to help situate and um, keep your water bladder hose more positioned in a way that's easier for you. You have another D-ring on each side. Now, here... When you wanted to, let me get some of this out of the way here. When you wanted to adjust the sternum strap on the Gen 1, you would literally just take this, undo it out of the buckle, unloosen the buckle and move it up and down and then buckle it back. One of the nice things on the Gen 2 is they have these slidable sternum straps. So when you need to adjust the height of it, you just sit there and you do like that. And I'll move it up to where you can see it a little bit. It's up here. All you have to do is slide it up and down. But if you need to, you can actually undo this and move it above these as well. I don't know if anyone would need to move it up that high, but if you do, you can. You also have the nice buckle right here that has the built-in whistle like the Gen 1. But another nice feature is that this is just your strap right here. It's, it's pretty straightforward. But over here, they've added um, elastic in the middle so that now your sternum strap 
is not only slidable up and down, but it's also more comfortable when you put it on because of that little stretchy cord right here. It just makes it a little bit more comfortable to use. And of course on the end of your backpack straps, you are able to use some more of these attachments of the Velcro to roll it up and to keep the extra length from coming down. And that's really important for me because I'm not a big guy. I'm about 5'10", 5'11", and 150 pounds or so. So I don't need a lot of <laughs> length on these. They've also changed the buckles down here. They're a little bit different design than the older one, just a little bit. But one of the unique things is where you put your thumb right here when you have the backpack on, you stand up and adjust it like this. They've made the little thumb grasp just a little bit bigger so you can actually get more um, surface area to pull up and it makes it easier to adjust that. The back straps are also about a quarter or so inches wider. So um, it makes it a little bit more comfortable when you're wearing them. They're, um, the best that I could um, measure is about a quarter, but a little bit less than a half an inch. So no more than half an inch, but at least a quarter of an inch. And um, they're also, along with the padding on the back here, the new Gen 2 has a little bit nicer padding. It's got larger pores, so I think that may help it breed better as well. But the back the straps have the, the newer padding on the Gen 2 to match this. And I think that will help you when you're carrying this backpack to have a little bit more um, padding that will fit and make it a little bit better to use. So I think those are all the major upgrades on the back of the pack. Okay, um, one thing I want to show you too is I'm going to undo this right here. And you have a two inch waistband. Now, a lot of people who want to use this like I do as an EDC pack, they're not going to use this strap on a daily basis, but they'll use it more if they go hiking with it or on a trip where they're going to be carrying it longer. So you can always press down your button there and the two buttons on the side and pull it apart. Also, if you are one who doesn't like this third button as well, you can sand that down so that it doesn't engage you can also play with it a little bit and push it backwards in there. It'll take a little bit of work, but you can push it back a little bit to where it doesn't engage. Some people, um, and you would need to check with VanQuest if it would affect your warranty, but I've seen some people just remove that as well. But this has Velcro back here, so you can actually undo that. And you can slide this right out just like that and that way this will not be in your way if you don't use it now if you'll notice this strap is two inches and this is going to be more like three or four inches so you can adjust it to fit you okay one thing is a tip i just want to tell you guys about if you happen to have like an ibex 30 from vanquest with a padded waist belt if i'm not mistaken you can take that waist belt and slide it through here as well so if you're going on a really major hiking trip and you want a lot more comfortable waistband, try that tip out. You might find it, um, it gives you a little bit extra padding for those really long trips. Okay, so now um, I wanna go ahead and open up the bag a little bit and get into that. Let me see where I'll put my, oh, there we go. Just like the other one, you're gonna have two of these that you can get into. Okay, now for me, I use this as an EDC, so I have a little survival-ish organizer right there. It has things like a bivy and emergency blanket. I have a battery kit that I keep um, extra 18650s, double A's, and hearing aid batteries all in here. Here I like to keep an organizer that has my tools like extra pocket knives, quick ties, and things of that nature. I have one that I keep all of my um, electronics in. I have a, powder, uh, a battery bank and all my cables. And then in here, I have a first aid kit. That way I can just get to uh, basic necessities while I'm out. Inside here, you have more of this hook and loop on both sides. So if you wanna take these organizers out, 
you can see where you have the hook and loop here and also right here on the back. And that's going to be all the way up and down these. And in the back here, you have a slot for your laptop. And this should hold um, up to a 15 inch MacBook Pro. And I'm going to show you, this is also an iPad Pro with a case. Now this case is fairly sticky. So when I go to put this in here, and let me stand up to better show you. Uh, there's plenty of room for that iPad Pro. And if you don't know the iPad Pro very well, that is their brand new, really large iPad. And there's plenty of room for that to clear in there, even with the case. Now, when you go to take a 15 inch MacBook Air, this is what people were talking about. When you go to close that in there, and you would go to zip it up, um, on this one, the zipper came right about even with the, with the laptop here. And this one gives you about a whole half inch taller. And just to show you real quick, See if you can see on the inside of this. I will take this out of here. And I'll slide it into the Gen 1 for you. So as you can see, the zipper lines up just perfectly with the laptop there. There's not a whole lot of room. So when you would go to zip it up, it'd be very close to the laptop. But again, when you go to put it inside this one, and this is one of the biggest feature upgrades of this bag, you now have literally about half an inch more material from here to the top of the laptop, and that gives you a whole lot more clearance when you're zipping it up. Inside here, I have another pocket that I just keep things like an extra earpiece and some wisp. Inside of here, you have two more pockets that I know that may be hard to see right here, but it has, um, you can put extra flashlights and all types of things inside there. You have another one right there, the same thing. Okay. In the very back, you have another pocket. And again, you have uh, more, let me turn the bag this way where you can see it better you have more hook and loop in the back. So you can use this to put items like a, um, um, a holster or a magazine holder. You can just take these, it has hook and loop, and you can just put it right inside there. And um, this is like a little universal holster. This will also, this will also hold um, where you put your water bladder inside here. And this bag has the capability of having two separate water bladders. Um, you can put one in here, and then you can go back into the regular compartment. And you can hang one kind of right in this area as well. So, I want to show you one other upgrade they made in here. The little loop, there you go, this loop right inside here, this is what the water bladder hangs from. In the Gen 1, this was a solid um, piece of nylon strap. And here, they've made it to where it has um, an area so you can adjust it a little bit. And I think that's pretty cool so that when you have your water bladders in there, it gives you a lot more to work with. Okay guys, so the nice thing about this real quick is that the MSRP price is exactly the same um, as this Gen 1 right here. So you get all of these upgrades um, for the same price as the Gen 1, okay? So that's really awesome. So great job on that VanQuest. Just to give you a quick rundown, I made a quick list of some of the overall features of this bag to help you make a better decision when you're looking for a bag. Excuse me. Okay, so it's a thousand denier for the gray, for the black, and for the tan. And for the multicam and multicam black, it's going to be 500 denier. That's, um, both of those are military grade. It's going to have your padded laptop sleeve. 
It's going to be uh, the padded interior, which is great for all your photography needs. It's going to have 34 separate compartments and um, slots to put things in. So that's a lot of organization. That's what this bag is partly known for. It has a high visibility orange, which you saw on the inside. So you can see what's going in and out of your bag much easier. It has the two inch removable waist strap. It's going to have up to um, the ability to carry up to two water bladders, which is about equal to five liters. Um, it's going to have three lockable compartments. It's going to have one here, one here, and then your main compartment. It has two compartments to have the hook and loop compatibility. It's going to have three um, dividers on the inside, which is you saw those in here. And those dividers also are taller than the Gen 1 by about half an inch or an inch, and that's to also help accommodate the bag being half an inch wider. It has four external D-rings like this right here, one on each side and one on each back strap. It's going to have two grab handles, as we mentioned before, one here and one on top. It has eight exterior um, loops right here so that you can add um, carabiners or grimlocks and different items like that. It's going to have three sections of molly webbing, one here, one here, and one on this side here. And guys, I, th I hope you really enjoy this. It's got nearly 20 upgrades from the Gen 1 to the Gen 2. Thanks for watching.